Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss Wyoming Whiskey's new 10-year bourbon. My name is McNeil. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Kathy Cool, Katie Joyce, and Lenny Eckstein. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey, hey guys. Hello. Hello. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about Wyoming Whiskey and the fact that they have a 10-year-old bourbon coming out in celebration of their 10-year anniversary. We'll get to that, though, after the break. For right now, Lenny said there's something he wanted to talk about. What is that, Lenny? Right. So, uh, w- you know, with the holidays coming up and Christmas music being all over the place and Christmas music uh, movies, rather, being all over the place as well, um, it got me thinking about, like, when I was younger and I was absolutely down to watch any, like, Christmas specials, cartoons, uh-huh. or on TV, like, in elementary school. But sure. then I started thinking about, as I got older, and Christmas movies that I haven't seen, of which I think there are quite a few. But when I was uh, kind of hovering behind the bar at Deerhammer the other day, something came up about Home Alone, and it clicked that I've never actually seen that movie. And <gasps> I, Yeah, well, that's what everybody said. Everybody freaked out. And I was like, do I really need to? Like no, that, no, Titanic, no, like I, none of the Home Alone. Can we skip all these movies, even though the latter two are Christmas Lady, movies? Let, let, guys, let me talk first because okay. I'm a Home Alone <laughs> hater. So oh, good. I don't understand why people like this goddamn movie. I fucking hate Home okay, Alone. Okay, mute her. At least she watched it. At least she watched it. I watched it. I've seen it. I don't like it. Like, so first of all, um, I don't think. I too much, think, uh, too much of a plot for McNew. There was a lot I going on. I don't there. think Macaulay Culkin. Like, it was like ball. too much, like the First little boy. All, if yeah. you had a cute kid, it's a watchable movie. He's You're complaining about cute. the movie because you don't think he's cute. He's ugly. He's an ugly McNew, kid. You don't I, don't, like any kids. I don't even like kids. I don't want to watch a movie with an ugly kid. At it makes it more relatable cute. for a kid whose parents would leave him at home and forget. I him. know. I will leave a thousand kids at home. Fuck those kids. Like it's just. I just no. I wow. hate this movie. Okay. Like it. It makes no sense. It's like weird. your dad what? makes a million dollars a year. You live in this beautiful home. It is a beautiful house. I saw it in Chicago. It is great. But, like, it, it makes no sense. Like, Catherine O'Hara. She's watched the movie. Crazy. She's gone out to the Home Alone house, but she hates the movie. Hates it. I hate Just it. Can't I, stand it. It makes sense. And, like, Macaulay Culkin isn't a cute kid. Like, I don't want to watch a whole movie about an ugly kid. I think he's a cute kid. He was a cute he, kid. He's not a cute kid. He has a weird He's an ugly kid. adult, but he was a cute kid. He was an ugly kid. He has the same face as an adult. No. no. He was a perfectly fine looking kid. Like, he yeah. it. He I mean, a my eight-year-old loves a movie. I just don't watch it when he's watching it. I leave yeah, the room. I don't think it's a fine movie. I hated that. God movie. forbid you spend an hour and a half with your son, Lenny. God forbid. <laughs> yeah, we never do anything together. Yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, Kathy, what do you think? I think it's a fun movie. I do too. Yeah, I I like it. It's like a cartoon um, in movie form because yeah. of the, the violence it's, is kind of this over the top kind of absolutely. wily coyote stuff. Yeah. Like you don't yes. think it would be better if the kid was cuter. I'm like, if a kid if a cute no. kid was hurting the criminals, I'd be like, Yes, good good for you. But an what ugly is, kid is, and I'm like, No, gross. I'm not interested. I, I don't understand. So, no, this is the problem. McNew came up in a generation where everybody was photoshopped 
And so she doesn't understand what real people go. look like. There you go. And there so go. normal <laughs> kids look like Macaulay Culkin. Oh, yes, he looked you very much like my little brother. Filtered. I would love for them to hurt a criminal any day of the week, but not that kid. <laughs> if this movie took place over Fourth of July, would it be so beloved? Probably uh, not. Yes. People would have ignored it. They would have very much ignored it because. It, like there's what what is a fourth of july movie armageddon well, it, it, I think that's not no, it's not it's work. but the, 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 it was christmas and it's got good christmas music and it, it becomes one of those if you do like it unlike mcnew if you like it it can be one of those that you watch every year you know and that's part oh, of yeah. the christmas season is you watch some of the same i like christmas vacation and elf and i watch oh, those every year yes uh, yeah so so if you're a fan of home alone it becomes part of that and that's how it becomes so huge is mm. the fact that you watch it multiple times yeah so only no, this time of the year to play, but yeah see my yeah. christmas season starts with die hard no mm, die hard. Cool. and that's then you need to watch also, love hard oh my gosh that's actually a legitimately good one i'm afraid to google that <laughs> no <Love> right <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, no, but Christmas Vacation had cute kids. Like, Russ was a cute what kid. What is your obsession with Russ? cute kids? Right. I don't know. I don't like kids. They're more tolerable when they're Well, you liked Russ. You thought <laughs> really, it's that McNew was, like, she was for the robbers, and she was pissed that they lost. And yeah. you're just salty was. Like, about the movie. Was. That's what like, it is. That kid. He was being a whole dick to his whole family the whole time. Fuck You're him. He was an that Marv didn't win. That's right. what it no. is. Like, okay, so like here's the thing. Like, if my stepson was like a dick like that, I'd be like, good, rob our house. Like, my dogs are safe somewhere. Like, I fuck that kid. Like, he was an asshole. No, he was a good kid. No, he, he wasn't. Protect his, his house for his family. Even right? He yeah. was a whole shithead. He child. just protected no. his home. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's misunderstood. No. 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 Oh. Did you like Buzz better? Did you thought Buzz was a good looking kid? Yeah, so I, I, Buzz was a good guy. Don't yeah. I just don't she liked really Buzz. Yeah. Like, there was a Buzz fan. He didn't get enough I, screen time. So I kind of was. I kind of was. That's what buzz. it is. Buzz. Here's, here's, here's to Buzz. Buzz had a spider for a pet. And he had a girlfriend. Remember Buzz's girlfriend? You got to see her? Yep. And Buzz's girlfriend. Ugh, throws it over. Here. I don't know. It's not working if you haven't seen the movie. All right. no. So good. I, I yeah. like Home Alone. My brother does, though. Like, it's wild okay. that we grew up in the same house, but we have very different Oh, yeah. What does your mom think? Mom didn't like it. Mom was not, like, there that was go. not, like, part of our holiday rotation. It wasn't, so. Okay. okay. I'm going to send but Nancy a, a copy of that this year. But a Friday after next was, so talk to her about that, I guess. <laughs> Friday after next? Friday after next? I don't even know what that is. Is that a I do. Friday movie? movies. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Or Friday? Ice Cube. Yeah, Friday, Friday yeah. movies. Friday Tucker. after next was part of our holiday. Oh, well, sure. Right. Fair enough. All right. Well, guess what? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? I'm going to go first. I have Barrel Bourbons New Year's 2023. This is the Ooh. 2023 edition of their popular offering. Uh, you can't see with my background. All right. Here we go. And it's not even 2020. Boy, did you hear that? I slow rolled that cork pop because I Kathy Cool tried to talk over me. Here we go. It's a thing. Here we go. Oh, no wonder she did. That's there's no way that thing's gonna lose. <laughs> My God, Kathy Cool almost ruined what was one of the most explosive cork pops in the history of the Bourbon Daily. It was oh, fair. Yeah. yeah, it was all right. It was all right. All right well, go ahead, Katie. You look like you're queued up and ready to go. What do you got? I am. I have some Wyoming whiskey. It is uh, their private stock Derby Day. Derby Day. Okay. Which it's interesting. The uh, in I went to Maine and a, a liquor store I walked into just was stocked with like a whole bunch of Wyoming whiskey all over the place. I'm like, you don't see this in Missouri necessarily. Right, right. loaded up. Huh? <laughs> Almost had to buy a whole new suitcase to come home. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, cool. I think she's got the lead now. So I okay, so. okay, yeah, just ruined my day. I was trying to have a good. It <laughs> all because Kathy day. talked over it. I, I, like I, that I, ugly I, kid in Home Alone ruined yeah. the day. <laughs> I partially <laughs> pulled that cork out, and that's what did the difference. It was Kathy's talking. Ultimately, she got me. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't get me out of the first shot, but the second one, yeah, she got me. So, Kathy, you're next. So I, it's not a bourbon, but uh, Miss Becca Sue is the new brand ambassador for this oh, spice yeah. pear liqueur. Yeah. And I haven't cracked it open yet. Okay. So I'm going to crack it open tonight. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. All right. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. 
Katie clearly still has the lead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Katie, we still got the lead. I don't know. I, I, I accidentally talked over it. I would like the know. audience to know that he even quickly leaned into his microphone <laughs> to make sure there was maximum volume. I like it was on purpose. Oh, boy, that's a shame, Kathy. I'll tell you what, an explosive cork pop like that wasted. Uh, uh, what are you going to do? It happens. It happens. You're, you're even going to get Miss Becca Sue after you now. Oh, she's yeah. a brain ambassador. I now like you've really done it. Oh, I know. You yeah. it. Oh man, we keep selling oh. out of this. So we got we got another case in, and I, I said this has got to be it. We're we can't sell any more than this before their Christmas. We'll see. I, I, we're down. so we got six more bottles, and this will. I, I hear it's made with Colorado pears. Uh, it is. It, it is. Oh, that's, I, cool. that's what I hear. I could be mistaken. Don't quote me on that. Pretty could sure. Be. All yeah. right. What do you got there, Lenny? Uh, I too have some uh, Wyoming whiskey. This is the Yellowstone edition, five year bourbon. Okay. Quite on set. Okay, that was actually really good, Lenny. Uh, not as good as uh, Katie's done. Katie, uh, yeah. And I don't know if it was better than Kathy's or not because it got ultimately <laughs> lost to the ages. All right, McNew, you're next. I have some Jack Daniels Bonded, which has apparently made news lately. Yes. Nothing uh, on my nothing end, there. though. Nothing there. By the I'm way, I had Jim order some of that because I... I Oh yes, I didn't talk over that. I did see. I, I, I we ordered some of that, uh, and, by, and then it wins whiskey of the year. How about that? So yeah, we, we've got of course. Show. So you, good that you ordered it already because you probably won't be able to exactly, anymore. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations to Katie on the big win. Uh, sorry it's to once happy. again to I Kathy. Feel like Kathy was, came yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. Cheers, gang. <laughs> Cheers, guys. All right. We'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking about Wyoming Whiskey's 10th anniversary and putting out a 10-year bourbon. We'll do that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We'll also have a 24-seat classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Stave and Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky.
This is Danny Kennard, which is turning into Freddie Mills. Y'all have a good fucking day because <laughs> this is the Bourbon Daily. Thank you. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking about Wyoming whiskey's 10 year bourbon and their anniversary. Yes, we are. So this is a big milestone. So congratulations to the team at Wyoming Whiskey. If you're listening, 10 years is a big deal. Uh, you know, coming out with a whiskey to celebrate that awesome idea, $199, 103.4 proof. And it's pretty exciting stuff. So Lenny, you've passed your 10 year anniversary. Did you ever consider, or have you been angry at yourself for not holding back like a barrel that you could release as a 10 year or something like that uh, for a big milestone like that? I mean, I, no, I, I wouldn't say mad. I, I think, you know, different conversation about Deerhammer's, uh, you know, startup and how it was funded versus how they were funded and whatnot. Right. But I'm... I'm uh, one barrel, yeah. though. Just one barrel. If well, been... I mean, I have a barrel of eight years. It's pretty close. Um, that's Arlo's barrel. barrel though. You're not going to be able to sell that, Arlo, unless Arlo gives you the authorization to do yeah. so. And that's not happening. He doesn't have a say. Um, but no, I mean, with them, I, I, I'm... I'm a huge fan of Wyoming whiskey. I'm uh Yeah, it's good I stuff, mean, I, right? Yeah, well, I mean, y- yes, it I think it's delicious. I'm enjoying some right now, but also like I I just think like uh great team doing what they're doing. I love that they're in the middle of nowhere Wyoming uh making phenomenal bourbon that, you know, it served blind. I think some people would absolutely confuse it in the mix up with Kentucky bourbon. I don't think the specific regionality is clutch to that flavor profile. And I, right. I like what they're doing. I like that they're coming at it with an approach of having had Steve Nally at the helm. Am I, am I right about that? I was confused. You're right. Yes. yes. And Lincoln Henderson. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Yes. And, uh, you know, and I'm a big fan of uh, Nancy Fraley's approach and she seems to be putting together some really awesome offerings with what, you know, a, a brand will have on hand. And I love that. It's all their stock. Right. Uh, so, can't say enough good things about them. I, I'm stoked for them on this 10 year release and stoked for everything they've done. Okay. Okay. How about you guys? What do you, what do you think? Are you guys excited about this one too? Or is it just ho home? What do you think? 10 years? Are we going to get it in Missouri? Uh, probably. Okay. I mean, they distribute here. They, uh, they have pretty wide distribution. So, yeah. So That's Steve funny. Nally was from, he's a Bourbon Hall of Famer, right? He is, yeah. He was Maker's Mark guy before He was that. Maker's Mark guy. Yeah. Is he yeah. still there? Yeah, he's at Bardstown Bourbon Company now. So, so he's, he's not there anymore. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Uh, they do claim, Lenny, to be the whiskey uh, of the Rocky Mountains or west, yeah. west of uh-huh. the Rockies. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's a fair claim because, uh, you know, the Rockies that run through Wyoming are no less Rockies. Uh, it's an awesome state. It's a very different culture than Colorado. Uh, it's also a state con- uh, control state. So it, different things happen there. And one of them is just like, uh, you know, when they launch a product, massive allegiance from their population, like sells out immediately because everyone has so much pride in it because it comes from their state. That's cool. That's cool. It's super cool. Um, a little uh, kind of sleeper fact, uh, people might not like this coming out, but uh, Wyoming as a state is also like a gigantic honey hole of a spot to go bourbon hunting right? because so much stuff gets kind of distributed. And I'm not saying there's no bourbon enthusiasts in Wyoming, but you can find there's some real people. Good stuff. Yeah, yes. not, a, not a lot of people. Not a lot Road of trip people. to Wyoming will uh, lead some good finds. Wyoming's sure. fun. It's a, it's a, it is a, a very fun nice. state for sure. Beautiful, beautiful state. Absolutely. Windy during the summer. In the summer, I don't, I don't want to be there in the winter. Too cold for me. Yeah. I like snow, so uh, it's not my place. But yeah, yeah, that's uh, you know, good for them. Katie, what do you think? Uh, Wyoming whiskey. You're obviously a fan. You've got, uh, you've got some there. So yeah. Yeah. So I have this uh, private stock, and then my brother has another one. We both did. Uh, tasting of it when we were in Maine loved uh-huh. all of it that we tasted um, and so I'm very excited for it and I'm excited for what else they put out um, I've been super happy with most of what I've tried from Wyoming really so yeah. I have nothing to complain about at all which is rare and, and, and this one again that their, that their climate is variant enough to get a lot of I, I, in the yeah. barrels. I feel like they don't get a lot of summer, so right. Yeah. Right. 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 yeah, that's a good point. I mean, they're they're up in I think it's Thermopolis, like kind of yeah, that's right, right near right. there anyway. Yeah, that's right. That's a hell of a name, by the way. 
That's yeah. great. It's no great. Kidding. Hot Springs up there, funny little town. Um, yeah. I could be mistaken, but I don't think they do climb control their Rick House or Rick Houses. <laughs> and um, that, I mean, Kathy, you bring up a good point. I mean, in the winter, it is cold. So definitely a different effect on maturation. Especially right. They have cold. like 30 below, like 30 below days. Like they have yeah. right. wild winters. Ten, 10 years is like the equivalent of, of, uh, of one-year-old whiskey, uh, you know, other places. Yeah. So, uh, thank I, I mean, there's not a lot going on when it's that cold, right, Lenny? Yeah, I mean, no, so at, at that point, I, it's I just really dormant. I really thought that right. they should have marketed this as, like, a decade, like, because, like, decade sounds better than 10 years to my brain. So I'm like, call it a decade. Call it <laughs> oh, decade sure, that'd be huge. Right? That'd yeah. be a big difference. Yeah. So, but their decade might be, like, three years because they don't have fucking summers. So. Right, no summers, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you bring up an interesting point about that, though. Like, I certainly don't have the lab equipment and uh, proximity to do those tests. But I can't imagine. I mean, that's a, a widely spoken thing that, like, you know, drop below 50 Fahrenheit and everything goes dormant. Does it? I mean, I don't you know. know. I, I, I only know. know what other people who are smarter than me say. That's all I know. Totally. I don't. I'm not a scientist myself. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that that's one of the fun things about having a distillery is like, I haven't done that experiment yet. Although I do have one coming up that's similar to we, that. We got, but we might come out for a class. You should come out for that, Lenny, and, uh, and take that class February 18th at the Which class? show. Uh, Andrew Webrink of an independent oh. state, the director of research and development. Oh, maybe I'll come out. Yeah. yeah I've he's never he's met doing, a, doing a class. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. How many tickets do you have left for that? Uh, we've got um, probably about 10 for each one. So we, we hold 24. So, uh, it's selling pretty good, but it's not, it's not like Jackie's I can't, Jackie's I can't, uh, (laughs) Jackie, uh, hers just sells out immediately, but Hey, that you can't hold anybody to that standard. I mean, she's Jackie's I can. So, uh, but yeah, pretty good. Uh, Definitely worth seeing if you're going to come in for a class, I'd be the one to be here for. So we think it's great. I'll come down for that. Heck yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah come over so yeah good stuff uh again congratulations wyoming whiskey team that's a big deal 10 years so very cool stuff get out there find it uh I, wyoming whiskey has been uh, been good through the years and and uh, i hope i get an opportunity to get one of these we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us kathy we'll start with you where can people find you you can find me on instagram at kk cask strength all right katie you can find me over on instagram at katie proof uh lenny you find me and the rest of deer hammer on social media at deer hammer on the web at deerhammer.com where you can order all of our whiskey shipped to your door and you come visit us in beautiful buena vista colorado mcnew i'm on instagram at mcnew abb all right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out because everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more. abvnetwork.com. Come by and see us at the ABV Barrel Shop. Maybe take a class. Andrew Weaver's coming to town, I hear. So check us out at abvbarrelshop.com. We do have a listing of the events. You can sign up right there. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to so please give us a five-star review that includes comments it helps new people find the show which is very important to us and if you like what we're doing we ask that you please visit our patreon page at patreon.com slash the abv network great job today gang for audience we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow looking forward to that until then take care everybody see ya bye bye peace Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen, or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Another friend of ours is the Goldstein family at Goldstone Mill. The Goldsteins offer a variety of heritage and heirloom grains to make the finest whiskeys in the world. Plus, they are more than just a grain company. They are truly consultants to make sure the grains they are providing to you or your business meet your highest expectations. Additionally, they work with mills around the country ensuring shipping is as low as possible for their customers. 
If you're a distillery, brewery, or even doing this at home, Goldstone can assist you. Check them out at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or check in via email at hello at goldstonemill.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's birthday barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. Thank <laughs> you.